Smartphones of 41 Indians have been compromised. It's been 48 hours since the Indian angle to this global hacking scandal was revealed. We don't know how big this really is. It's taken a political color now. Is this WhatsApp attack then bigger than Cambridge Analytica? And are we taking this threat seriously enough? On Beyond Edit, that's what we'll discuss. Let us rewind to 2018 when the Cambridge Analytica scandal broke. It woke up India to the perils of data theft, the dark side of technology as it were. Data from millions of Facebook profiles was stolen. It was used to influence our thoughts, our actions, even our political choices. It was used to fix elections apparently. If you thought that was sinister, look at what's happened now. Somebody is snooping on you, recording you through your phone, reading your messages, controlling your phone and you have no clue. That's how big and dangerous the WhatsApp hacking scandal is. This is sophisticated surveillance, bigger than anything we've seen before. What's worse, it's a weapon that costs less and damages more. You don't need a lot of money to buy something like Pegasus, not, even if, if, not if you're a government agency. Your enemy does not need missiles. He can use your smartphone against you. The world's most sophisticated bug, an attack that is hard to detect and even harder to prevent. And don't count on the governments and enforcement agencies too much. After all, they are the clients of companies like the NSO Group. They are the ones buying and using digital bombs like the Pegasus. And those who are not may not be much help either. Those governments most likely do not know how to fix this. In fact, there is no government, no government agency, no investigation wing or world organization to rein in hackers like these. These are the makings of a dangerous and chaotic future. And India cannot afford to ignore this. Such breaches are a serious violation of fundamental rights. You may have met people who are saying that they're not worried, that they have nothing to hide, they have nothing incriminating on their phones. Tell them that they're wrong, because that's not the point. Their phone has the most comprehensive record of their life. If all that information falls into wrong hands, the results will be extremely unsavory. A data leak is far more damaging than you imagine. Consider this case. This is a case from 2015. Amy Pascal was one of the most powerful movie executives in Hollywood. She lost her job because of a data hack. Amy Pascal was the head of Sony Pictures. Her emails were leaked by hackers. And they were embarrassing to say the least. She'd sent a series of racist emails about Barack Obama. These were her private thoughts. But after the leak, obviously, they became public. And they were good enough to take her job. So pause and think. Would you like some stranger to have access to all that's in your phone? For them to leak it. For them to sell it. Your messages, your emails, your photos, your audio and video conversations, your bank details. It's a very unsettling thought.